Doctors say her progress has been incredible, and today they released a Joshua teenager from the hospital. This after she fell more than 3,000 feet in a skydiving accident. News 8's Lauren Zakalik is live at Baylor in Dallas, where Mackenzie Wethington will soon start that rehab. Lauren. Well, her doctor in Oklahoma had said it could be a couple months before Mackenzie fully recovers, but as she heads back here to North Texas, she has a world of support behind her. I can help the next person. For a girl known for her sweetness. Can I get the peanut butter? A bake sale. I'm going to grab another one of those bags. This is a dollar. Seems the most fitting way. The snickerdoodle are uh, 50 cents a piece. To continue raising funds for Mackenzie Wethington. She's the 16 year old Joshua girl who fell 3,500 feet from an airplane Saturday. It was her first time skydiving, and her parachute didn't open. So much money is being raised. Wonderful. Those are 50 cents. Laura Pritchard is one of the friends behind this latest effort. The cupcakes, cookies, and confections raised $402.30 Friday during lunch at Joshua High School. The front says, How strong are you? And the back says, McKenzie Strong. Tack that on to the thousands of dollars friends have already raised by selling these t shirts. And take a look. The first batch of shirts has just come in. They ordered 400, thinking that was enough. It's not. They've already ordered 800 more, and they're prepared to keep ordering them because people want to support McKenzie. My goal was like 100. I mean, and we beat that on the first day. Orders from as far away as Australia have catapulted sales to at least 1,000 shirts. And Friday, more great news as Mackenzie was able to leave her Oklahoma hospital room and head back to Texas to finish her recovery. She's a miracle. She's a walking miracle. And as she takes her first steps after that 3,000 foot fall, her friends can attest to how sweet. I can get the next person in line. Those steps really are. Now, Mackenzie suffered injuries, including a broken pelvis, a fracture in her liver, and broken ribs. The doctors say it was as if she'd gotten hit by a car going 40 miles an hour. We're live in Dallas tonight. Lauren Zakalik, Channel 8 News.